The Noble Quran says, ask the people of the book, what and why. Often Christians use this and take it as a statement that the Quran says the Bible is not corrupted, or try to claim that the Quran says they are on the right path, etc. The way they quote the verses is, Fasalu in kuntum la Ask the followers of the remembrance if ye know not. Quran 16, 43. The same words are repeated at 21, 7. They say the words followers of the remembrance according to greatest Muslim exegetes like Ibn Abbas, may Allah bless him, refer to the learned among the people of the book so it accounts for their being on the right path. The truth. This much is true that it refers to the people of the book but the conclusion they draw is not true. And here is the plain reasoning for this. One even if you quote one complete verse in isolation to its context it hides the actual intent, leave alone quoting the half verse. The complete verse goes as. Wama arsal namin kabli ka iola rijalan nuhi lahim fasalu ala a ilabdhikri in kuntum la talamuna. And we sent not, as our messengers, before the other than men whom we inspired, ask the followers of the remembrance if ye know not. Quran 16, 43 and 21, 7. To this was certainly addressed to the pagans of Makkah who doubted if a human can be a messenger of the highest, Allah. 3 The verses before and after Quran 21, 7 make this further clear. Verse 3 tells us about the pagans. Wa asaru a ilan najwa a ilan ladina dala muhal ha the ila basharin meet lukum. The wrongdoers say, Is this other than a mortal like you? And in verses 7 and 8, Allah replies, Wama arsalna kabla ka ila rijalan nuhi lahim fasalu ala a ila thikri in kun tum la talamuna wama jahana hum jasadan la yakuluna a ila tahama wama kanu halidina. And we sent not, as our messengers, before the other than men, whom we inspired. Ask the followers of the reminder if you know not. We gave them not bodies that would not eat food, nor were they immortals. Quran 21, 7-8 For a narration from Ibn Abbas, may Allah bless him, further clarifies the actual context of the verse. Ibn Abbas said, When Allah sent Muhammad as a messenger, the Arabs refused to accept him and those who refused to accept him said, Allah is greater than to send a mortal man like Muhammad as his messenger. So Allah revealed, Is it a wonder for mankind that we have inspired a man among them? 10, 3, and he, Allah, further, said, And we sent not, as our messengers, before the other than men whom we inspired, ask the followers of the remembrance if ye know not. 16, 43, Ask the people of remembrance i.e. people of the previous scriptures if the messengers who came to them were, mortal, men or the angels? And if they, tell you, they were men then do not reject that Muhammad is a messenger. Then Allah said, We sent not before thee, any messengers, save men whom we inspired from among the folk of the townships. 12, 109, That they were not some heavenly creatures as you say, or expect. Tafsir ibn Jar al Tabari 17 208 under Quran 16, 43. Summary 5 All the above points are enough to clarify that verses do not mean to recognize the people of the book as custodians of the faith nor raises them to the status of people of ultimate knowledge but only asks the pagans to confirm from them that the Prophet from Allah has always been mortal men and not angels, etc. 6. Even if we say that the verses speak of knowledge on the part of the Jews and Christians it is only restricted to the awareness that Allah's prophets were human only. If this knowledge makes arrogant people to whom countless prophets were sent then perhaps it is enough to know that they have failed to receive the guidance offered to them and have contented themselves with a pittance. Shame on you hypocrite Christians, indeed you can't hide the truth.